you will take us through prehension. Thank you so much, Motari. We are proud to have you as a teacher in our country. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. You can appreciate uh, our teacher by getting to the reactions. There's a place called reaction, like what I've done now. You can see. Yes, the reactions. Yeah. Uh, you can go. You can even clap. Yeah. You can do the reactions by even saying there is joy. You can see that joy. And ah, thank you so much, all of you. Now to finish up, to finish up, I prepared uh, a great deal in composition. Now it will not be advising. It now be the real introduction, body and conclusion plus the one of the compositions. Secondly, I will talk about uh, uh, number one to number 15, and I'll be advising you that it's always good to begin from number 26 to up to question 50. Remember, learners, question 26. What subject? English, English, English. Question 26 comes from paragraph one, and question that nine comes from paragraph one. Question one is always the simplest question because what you think is what is the answer. And uh, once you begin, you get to question 26 to 50, complete it. And I'll be answered. Uh, uh, let me admit, Geoffrey. Let me admit, Geoffrey Kadu. So I'll be showing you in next time how you can come up <laughs> with answers. Kaha. <laughs> Yes. Somebody is talking, and that is that must be Anastasia. Anastasia, you are talking. I've muted you. I'm just saying, just to wrap it all, because I'll be advising you on the paper itself. I've arranged number one to number 25, and I've tried to come up with ways of answering question one to 20, question one to 50. That means we begin from question 26 to 50. I'll be teaching you on how to come up with the right answers in every instance. Question 1 to 25, 1 to, 1 to 15, the second one. Once you finish 26 to 50, come to question 1 to 15, and then you finish with uh, question 16 to 25. Therefore, I'll prepare possibly next week. But if there will be an instance like today, then I'll ask you to join me tomorrow, the same time we began. I'll create a link, then send to your teachers because most of them are my friends, so that you also send to others. Then we have a large number of learners fitting. I want to ask you that once you go to question one to 15, then you are able to answer them. Then I'll send soft copy of whatever I have prepared then give it to your teachers. They will sit down with you, get photocopies, print them, and then you can now work on them. If your teachers can allow me to join your schools, then I'll be responsible in issuing such and then take you through. Let me finish by saying this. Alana should do the following when answering questions. This is the last part. Huh? When answering questions, this is, needs you to get prepared. Prepare yourself. But know this. If all people passed, you will also pass. But you must be ready to sit for an examination. This examination that you sit on wants you to listen to yourself. Do not translate your uh, English to your local language. Remember to read. By preparing yourself, it means you should not be asking another person, help me with an eraser. They normally, you normally call it a rubber. Help me with an eraser. Help me with something. No, stop asking for things. Prepare yourself for an exam. I'm trying to mute Tessie and, and uh, somebody here. 
but you try always to unmute yourself. Please remain muted. Huh? I'm just asking you learners, be very careful. Remember to read carefully. Number 26 to 50, remember to do this. Have a long ruler, not a short ruler, long ruler and a sharp pencil. Underline all the text in the passage. After underlining, remember to read and make a short summary of every paragraph. Remember to read a passage three times. The first time you read to understand the tense and the story. The second time you read, remember to check the questions. And the last time you read, remember to have confirmation of what you have read. Is this question coming from here? If it's paragraph one, then the line where the question comes from, write number 26, number 27. Remember to make all paragraphs numbered. If paragraph one, uh, from paragraph one to paragraph seven, and there is fiction and factual. Factual stories tell facts. Ukweli. Let me give a story like the story, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. There is nothing that will change from there. If a story is about HIV and AIDS or about something happening, then that's a factual story. The second story is fiction for entertainment. If you are entertained, that is uh, fiction. Remember stories that tell about fiction are sometimes very difficult to answer and sometimes they are very short. You must read carefully. Remember on paragraph one to make sure that you make a summary, paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three, a summary. And when you're answering questions, which one of the following, underline the word which. But the main question, remember to bring out, Wanafunzi listen to this, remember to circle the key words. Which one is the main topic of the story? Now the word main becomes the key, but the word which, underline it, but circle the word main or the list in case somebody is asking like that. Now, how many, like for example, if tomorrow I have a chance to speak with you, I'll be explaining how you are answering question one to question 26. But be very careful. We like testing a very simple thing, but we try to mingle around a question to make you, to find out, are you able to understand what you are reading about? If that is the case, then number one to number 15, I've said already, they might be testing on uh, auxiliary verbs that we started with. The word would, should, and could, if they are tested, then here, I would like to advise our learners to be very careful in answering question one to 15. Read the question, the story three times. The first time you do question one to 15, you read to understand the story and the tense. If it's in past tense, then it means all the verbs must be in past tense. And vice versa, or if it's in future or it's in simple tense. Now, if we are talking about uh, um, the second time you read, remember to close, before you start reading paragraph one, the first, the close test, Number one to number 15, remember to close the answers. Funga yale majibu ya kokule chini. Close all the answers. Read now. The second time you are reading, have fix your own answers. Write your own answers. I'm very sure 
Once you are going to do that, it means you'll be able to answer five to 10 questions correctly using your own word. Don't guess, but write similar, whatever you feel that is the correct answer. I hope you are getting me learners. Then when you come to question 16 to 25, most of you call it mteremuko. It's not. This one is very, very technical because the words that we give might be testing learners on areas of concern, including vocabulary and the general grammar. So this year, you might be tested on general grammar, not might. You will be tested on general grammar, including conjunctions, interjections, adjectives, and uh, let me call them verbs, all the parts of speech, and whatever one feels. Remember, we have not tested on punctuation. I've already said you'll be tested on punctuation because it has never been asked for a long time. So tomorrow, if you haven't given the opportunity, I will expound more on how we are going to do the similar thing to answer questions in our KCP. What it needs in KCP very much is a learner who has taken time to read and understand. Be prepared. Don't go to disturb other learners in an examination room to help you with the erasers and sharpeners. If you do so, you will panic. Finally, um, the composition, the, the first, uh, the entertaining part, the fiction part, is not very far from the composition that you'll be sitting at again, but that is in the afternoon. So you only need to be very careful, read it carefully. It might help you to answer questions that is a composition in the afternoon. So learners, I'm asking you, concentrate in what you are going to read and the questions that you are going to answer. Number one to 15, I said, read while closing the answers. Funga majibu. Read and understand the tense and the story. The second time you do so, read while fixing the answers on the blank spaces. The third time is confirmation stage, where now you'll be able to open up the answers and now go through them as you pick the correct answers from A, B, C. Remember to circle the keywords and the circle the question with a pencil so that once you go to the answer sheet, be very careful to shade well. And I know your teachers are going to help you answer the questions carefully on those ellipses. And with that, we come to the end of our session today. I'll not miss to thank your teachers who I organized quickly to allow you to join my session. Uh, any teacher in the in the meeting, please to unmute himself ourselves and talk. So I was saying I cannot miss to thank all of you for joining us and uh, taking part time to come and join me. It was a short uh, as, uh, notice and all of you are joined. I will not forget to thank Madam Lily Luvai in absentia. Uh, she joined us. I thought she could have talked to us. I cannot forget Madam Leticia, who has taken all this time. In fact, she's still in the meeting and uh, joining us. And possibly when we arrange something similar to this, I'll ask you to send that link to very many others in our country and join us to learn together. Maybe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, welcome. Uh, do those teachers who organized this session with the learners, Madam Mary of Guru, and uh, other teachers okay. join. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm asking you now to do one thing. Eh? Uh, open your videos so that we can see one another as we say uh, goodbye to one another. Oh, this is uh, Shagra.
Kim. Eh? Kim is joining us. Uh, the Just below your phone, there is a, a what? A video. Okay. Let me allow. Let me allow for you. Have you, have, you, have, have you managed? Yeah, below your your phone, there is a microphone, and next to it is a, a short video, stop video or open video. Oh, you guys look amazing, look wonderful. Oh, Geoffrey, Kadu, Makina, Bradley, Patricia. And uh, there is Anita, Alex. Okay, there is also Letizia there, the teacher, you can see her. Yeah, wave to our children, please. And uh, yeah, 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 very lovely there. There is Mariam Atman, yes, Alex Kitonga. I cannot see Lois, Mariam, Mariam Omar, Mariam Atman. Tabita Wangare is joining right now. There is uh, Anzal Mohammed, Angelou, Shagra, Sekim, uh, possibly I might not pronounce well. Uh, there is Angelou, Lois Awol, uh, we want to see you, your face. iPhone 2, Anita. Yeah, yeah, we can take, uh, we want to take a uh, uh, shot. Okay. We, we take a shot and then I'll be sending to your teachers, tell them we joined in our meeting. So let me see, let me see, let me take a screenshot of ourselves there. Yeah. Then, wonderful. Go and say goodbye. Thank you. Have a good lunch. Thank you for joining yeah, me. Bye. This was a wonderful team. You too. You people were wonderful. Thank you. You I are enjoyed it. Bye. You have pleasure. Any given time. Thank you so much for joining me.